Hello, everyone, and welcome to what episode are we on? 27. 27. Episode 27 of Signature Maneuver, a wrestling podcast for people who are fans of wrestling. I am not your host. I am one of your three hosts. My name is Jose, and I love wrestling. With me are my two co-hosts, who are always awesome, Mr. Roman Vargas. What up? And Mr. Brian Alvarado. What up, dude? I love wrestling. And Jules is here making a lot of yeah, fucking noise. Bitches, huh? I'm here for uh, the show. <laughs> uh, our, our buddy Joseph just popped in. You know what? Uh, what's your match of the week? You can pick any match. Match? What is this? Wrestling match? Wrestling match. Yeah, just pick a wrestling match that you like a lot. All right. Well, my favorite was when uh, Owen Hart fell from the rafters. <laughs> well, of the week. He lost to the floor. <laughs> Very it's a squash match. <laughs> <laughs> Good at it, everybody. <laughs> Mitch, you saw wrestling this week? Wow. You saw wrestling this week, apparently. Oh. Uh, fucking. Uh, Quit doing that. Your jugs are shaking. Kyle Riley. No won that match, but whatever. No, you shouldn't have. Fucking sandwich ass McAllister. Whatever, dude. Sandwich ass McAllister. McAllister. Alistair Black. That's that's Alabaster Black you're talking about. McAllister Black. (laughs) He's really cool, but still, fuck him. You know how I feel about O'Reilly, guys. I actually don't. Just tell me. He's on my top list of uh, people I go gay for. Kyle O'Reilly? Is it really? Yes, he is. Really? Huh. That's you know a shocker. That's, that, that's an interesting topic. That's next week. Top five wrestler you go gay for. And then we'll do what we need to do. I can do that right now. Bobby Fish. Uh, yeah, Megan's number one for me. Man. <laughs> He's so hot. All right. Give well, us the top five. Okay. Well, Kenny Omega number one, obviously. Okay. I don't think Colorado is number two. Oh, because Luke Gallows is number two, right? Ew. Nah, Chuck Taylor's pretty cute. He's <laughs> funny. <laughs> Trent, right. Trent's a little young stud as well. Actually. So both both the best friends. Yeah, you're gonna get me. Friends. You're gonna get. And I already have a picture of me holding hands. You're gonna get. T- you're gonna get tag teamed <laughs> by the best friends. All right, so that's three. You got two left. Oh man, who am I missing? Finn Balor. He's kind of nice. Sorry, two more. Sami Zayn. No recommendations. I want him to think of his own. Okay. No, I swear I actually had a list. Scott Norton. No. <laughs> okay. That's no no recommendation. Right. No, no, no. <laughs> I just really wanted him to say Scott Norton. <laughs> uh, Ricochet's the best wrestler in the world, but he's not a tractor or anything. Yeah. He's just some Mexican. Um, <laughs> I, I don't even think he's Mexican. Yeah, I don't think he is. No, he's not. He's like, Look, this is Trump's American now. He's just <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not doing that here. No, we don't. I need you on the city. <laughs> 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 I need you on the city, uh, fuck. Oh, man, who am I missing? I'm missing someone here. Can I say a name? Dave Bryan? Yeah, he looks like you. Punk? I mean, I like you. He's fuck those, those crow's feet. Nobody <laughs> fucking He's that. Mean. <laughs> this hey, but he might be a good fuck. He's mean. Santino. Right? He's gonna fucking judge you while you lay there. Santino. <laughs> Santino? <laughs> I'm gonna have to get back to you guys on this. Alright. Uh, Apollo yeah. Crews. There's a list up there. <laughs> <laughs> He's black. <laughs> so what? It's gonna be a no for me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> the Velvet Team Dream. What, what the fuck are you wearing? What are you doing? I'm gonna go to Taco Bell. Oh, clearly. So I'll let you know. Carlos, oh, yeah, give me some stuff. <laughs> Damn, if I have money, I'd Give me some over. stuff. I'm just hungry, <laughs> so I'll take anything. Nah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I haven't eaten anything. You wanna get you? <laughs> fuck the reliable. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you gonna go to Taco Bell? We, we, hey, we have our own oh, fuck the revival, know. right? Oh, it's me saying fuck, fuck Game Storm, Storm yeah. <laughs> which I saw him on. I saw him like on a flyer. Yeah, like Game Storm the Cowboy on uh, Twitter. Sorry, and I was like, I don't sorry. Know. Yeah, yeah. Y'all like? I fucking hate Game oh, Storm. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I like how all the people just know James Storm's catchphrase. I fucking hate James Storm. Yeah. Yeah, he loves beer. Oh, I hate Eddie oh, Kingston. Yeah. <laughs> Money. <laughs> Why do I hate Game Storm? Because he fucking yells into a mic. The mic already makes your voice louder. Why are you yelling? Stone Cold yells in a mic. Hey, man. Yeah, but he's people, funny. People from Liverpool, oh. they, they might need... Yeah, it's like uh, the singer from Iron really Maiden. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, the singer for Iron Maiden. 
Hey, get your boy Baja Blast. Yo, yo, yo. Yes? <laughs> Chill, what's good from Taco Bell? <laughs> She's gonna need a crush, baby. Alright, uh, how much is that? Can you give me one of those and a Dorito Loco? <laughs> Use that for all their stuff, too. What? For all their stuff? Like this what? kind of? <laughs> It's kind of a big baller place. So is it now? Money's real good here. Is it now? I'll give Talk you my about. card. I mean, I only, I'm trying to only do two separate orders. You know, me and then y'all. Yeah. Yeah. I just want a Baja Blast. You can keep that five. I don't care. <laughs> so, do you do the crunch? Okay. Yeah, send it to you. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to text you right now. Okay. All right, okay. No. Throw in his Bajas well, and what do you want? Uh, get me... Uh, not really ordering the podcast. Yeah, yeah, it was fine. So <laughs> I'm not editing that or anything like that. Just, I'll text you. Okay, yeah, just text me. Yeah. Alright, cool. So, All Raw right. was a shit show? Yeah, just like this. It was just bad. It was really, really bad. I Honestly, it had no problem what just happened because Raw was three hours of... I didn't even watch all of it. I skimmed it, and I only liked maybe ten minutes of it. I texted, uh, Brian... Next day, and I was like, I'm so mad that I, like, I was, I just saw SmackDown, which we'll get to in a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, SmackDown, so good. Uh, I told him I was really pissed off that I lost three hours watching Raw. I think I'm never, that's, okay, now I'm being exaggerating. I think I'm not going to attempt to watch it for a little bit. I think I'm, I'm done for a bit. I stopped. From Raw. I stopped a couple weeks ago, because, like. I was watching it, and I was like, I'm honestly just doing this for the podcast, and I'm not even enjoying it. And then I switched, and I stopped watching that, and I started watching SmackDown. Yeah. I'm like, I'm having a way better time. It's just, yeah, because the stuff you would tune in to Raw for, they're all on SmackDown now. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, I would watch the full three hours, and then I'd be like, I'm just going to watch the Hulu cut. Like, that's basically what I need to know. And even at that, I was like, I don't. Well, the Hulu cut counts out the the two hundred five guys. Yeah, so like basically like the good stuff that we yeah. want to see is not on the Hulu cut, but the stuff that you should know, I guess, mm. is on the Hulu cut. But I just mm. I don't want to do this. Don't worry, there were two things that I did like. One was the opening, which uh, where Lesnar and Heyman come out. Yeah, and they address the match at SummerSlam, and Lesnar says if he loses, he's, he's out, right? Yeah, he's out. Yeah, which they're already teasing him and John Bones Jones. At UFC. Yeah, so he might be leaving already to train. And also, rumor is that Heyman is advocating for Joe to get that belt next. Cool. I wholeheartedly agree with uh, Mr. Heyman here. I will say also, though, if Braun gets the belt, I'm not about, I'm not upset even remotely. So No, uh, neither am I. So what's the uh, the match right now? like? The four-way dance. It's Braun, Roman, Joe, and... Lesnar, right? Yeah. Okay, that's right. Which would a match? You get a little bit of everything in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. I enjoy that that they did that. I I think Roman works best in those types of matches. That he does. Um. So does Braun. That, Braun, yeah. Braun has shown that he can maybe handle a one on ones a little better. Yeah. Um. His stuff with Kalisto, was, Joe, I know. Joe can do whatever fuck he wants, and well, yeah, you? he's just phenomenal. But uh, yeah, Braun has been getting better on the mat as a wrestler. Yes, his matches with like Kalisto, those were fun. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed those. You know, he can handle you know a two hundred five guy, essentially doing wrestling maneuvers around him yeah. and him working with them, uh, a la uh, Shawn Michaels and Diesel every time they wrestled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he can do those matches. So I, I'm looking forward to it. It's a really good main event. Like I don't know who thought of that. As the main event, but it's a good idea. Yeah, I agree. So that was one thing. What, what was the other thing? The other thing was the segment of the Biz Taraj and um, Jason Jordan. I like that segment. Okay. Because it was basically setting up. So Miz is bad mouthing Kurt the whole time. Yeah. And then that's when Jason Jordan gets upset and he says, "You can say whatever you want about me, but you don't say anything about my father." And then he suplexes a uh, Miz into the Miz Taraj. So that's setting up probably him and Miz for the IC belt, which I enjoy. I would like that. Cool. I, I like that. It'll maybe give him a chance to shine a little, a little more. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the one thing that everybody was kind of complaining, like, what the fuck? Why is Jason Jordan, they were just making, like, you know, all these comments. And I was like, it's actually good for Jason Jordan because he's okay on the mat, but mm -hmm. he, he doesn't have a personality, really. Mm -hmm. um, 
Gable's completely fine on his own. Yeah. Which I'm, I'm glad he's doing what he's doing. Did you see the... Say, okay, so we'll get to Gable and we'll get to SmackDown, actually. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I completely agree. That was a good segment. Um, anything else that I liked? That's all that I liked. I don't want to be negative, but I can't believe this is like the fourth week in the row. They're doing this cast and big show thing. Mm -hmm. And then rumor is that <laughs> the Enzo, they're thinking of either sending him back to NXT or putting him with 205 or sending him to SmackDown. Which I don't know what they would do with him as a single person Yeah. if all they do is have him lose. And also Cass is horrible on a mic. I've been trying to give him the benefit of, of the doubt to say that he's getting better, but it's still just not what people want when he would come up. Was it this week or last week? Does he have a shirt yet? No. no. If he it still is, has a black shirt on? Just big ass. <laughs> he, they sh I don't think they should have broken them up. No. Like, even though it was kind of, I guess, what's the word, forthcoming? Kind of. Like, yeah. It, it was like, you can see that that was going to happen down the line. Like, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think they should have broken them up, like, Ever. Because, I mean, it's not really benefiting anybody. Yeah. Not, yeah, not even remotely. And also, the whole aspect of getting the Big Show involved just because Cass is a big dude, that's a dumb idea. Yeah. Big man versus big man on the mat is always horrible unless it's people that could actually, you know, wrestle. And Big Show, he's fine. He can wrestle when he wants to, but he's even accepted that with, he wants to. Yeah, within the next year, he's done. So, yeah. why? Why should he put effort into this thing, you know? Yeah, why does he play Destiny and shit? Amore, and I'm a certified G and a bona fide stud. You can't teach that. I actually would be great if, if yeah. he wasn't for wasn't running for mayor right now in his respective town. It'd be great if Kane was with Enzo. Hey, you know what? That would have been a great program. Apparently, Kane is still wrestling outside of WWE. Oh, really? Yeah, our friend Robert, he was actually telling me that there was like a video or something that he was watching about Cody Rhodes and like Kane passes by. And he's like in ring gear and he tells him something like, I know you're not going to wrestle me and not put up the ROH title or something like that. And then like, huh. that's Cody, funny. And then Cody's like, I mean, I'll do it. And then like, he's like, okay. And apparently like they're going to have either they're going to have, or they already had a match for the ROH title. <laughs> that's funny. And I was like that really? And Joseph was like, or Robert was like, yeah, like I don't, like a house show, like it's gonna be. Yeah, like he's a, like I have no. He's like I don't. I don't have no idea what promotion or what. Mm -hmm. He's like, but yeah, like apparently. I mean, there's so many nowadays. Yeah, yeah. so. It's hard. Like, That's really weird. I don't even think there's territories anymore. There's just promotions. Yeah, it's just a bunch of promotions. Yeah. But I mean, I think Kane and Enzo would have been a good program. Yeah. Kane's funny. I would be like the whole Daniel Bryan thing. He's know? a funny guy. Yeah, so. that'd have been cool. But you know, it's whatever. Um, I'm done talking about Raw. I, I didn't enjoy it. I'm okay with fucking SmackDown. Smack, SmackDown yeah. started, and it was the best way to start ever. Yes. It wow. What a great match. It just started with a match. It didn't even start with like an opening segment. It was like, because it was weird, because like AJ Styles thing. came out, and I was like, oh, okay, he's going to talk. And then Kevin Owens came out, and I was like, did he like interrupt him before he even started talking? And then like he got in the ring, and I was like, oh, no, they're just going to have a match right now? Yeah. Like, this is how the show's going to start? Okay. <laughs> We're like the first twenty minutes, and it was so good. Their program has been great. Yeah, they both have been looking great on both sides, man. Yeah, on and that aspect, we're really spoiled in SmackDown. Yeah, yeah, for so sure. So spoiled. I mean, like, I, oh, one thing I wanted to point out was like, you know how like SmackDown does the whole, the they're like a what is it like they're kind of like accomplishments or whatever. Yeah. Like when they when they come out, they mm -hmm. show like the picture of them, their name, and then like their accomplishments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On AJ's, it said the, the face that runs the place. Like, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, why is that there? On KOs, it says lost last week to AJ Styles. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Smackdown, yeah. if you want to have fun with wrestling, that's that's where you go. Such a fun place, man. Yeah. Like I was telling Brian, like it's like a if I use the ten point scale. It's like a 9.8. This week's? This week's. There's only a, a point two. I think everybody knows what it is, but we'll get to that in a bit. Uh, but yeah, match was cool. Uh, uh, match was yeah. Cool. yeah. I, li I like the way they're set, they set it up for SummerSlam. For SummerSlam. Yeah. 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 I thought it was actually really clean the way that they did it. I'm yeah. Like, oh, okay, he gets hit. He's, yeah, I can't see, I can't see, fucking blind. I don't know what's wrong with the refs in the WWE, but they're like, 
They get hurt so easily. Oh, dude, I love. <laughs> so basically, AJ won, but Kevin shoulder, shoulder was up, up the, yeah. the whole time. I love when they went to the back, mm-hmm. and Kevin was like. I want like I want a good ref, one that can see whose both eyes work. He's like one that's not gonna get knocked out in the first gust of wind. <laughs> it was, it made me laugh. I like when Drake Younger takes those ref bumps. Oh yeah, because yeah. I'm like motherfucker. I've seen you bleed <laughs> everywhere and still wrestle, <laughs> but someone bumps in you. Is like I don't know. I I was out. <laughs> yeah, so they set it up for SummerSlam for mm-hmm. the U.S. title with Shane as special guest referee. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wasn't expecting Shane. But I was like, okay, that's fine. Yeah, I um, thought it was going to be damn Brian. I thought it was going to be that. Like, hey, shit. motherfucker, I got two good eyes. Yeah. I got a sweet beard. No, I and don't. Flannel. I don't think they'll let Daniel Bryan do anything in the ring. Yeah, I don't think they'd yeah. want him to. That's like a complete no go. Yeah, because they can't control him while he's out there, so he'll probably fucking do a flying headbutt or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're teasing Shane and Owens. Yeah. Yeah, because they did that. They kind of did the same thing with. Um, Shane and AJ when yeah. they built it up for WrestleMania, right? Mm-hmm. Like, they kept going back and forth every week, and then, you know, now they're doing a match, sort of. So okay, if well, they're they they are building to that. Do you think it's gonna be a different match? Do you think it's gonna be like a no disqualification match or something? No, just a regular match. I think it'll probably just be a regular match. Yeah, I sure. thought Shane's I was, been having those. I was like thinking like that's like can he though? <laughs> I was like what do that's, you mean? He had one good wrestling match with AJ Styles, and we know AJ Styles has Hitman Syndrome. But he also carries his own weight. Shane's fine in the ring. It's just the amount that you care about his programs that I think really makes the difference. Because with AJ, there was a good build to it. Yeah. When he came back, though, oh yeah, so his comeback match when... Vince said, you're fighting The Undertaker. Though, what about that should you give a shit about? The Undertaker. I mean, yeah, you get to be a part of the, uh, what is it? The Whatever it was before? The Authority or some yeah. shit? But other than that, why would you care? Hmm? A guy who comes back who hasn't done anything is going to wrestle other old guy who's in a lot of pain right, and here, doesn't want to do this anymore. <laughs> here comes the money. God damn it. <laughs> so, but with his program with Shane, with AJ, it was cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really enjoyed that because they built up to it, and every week he, AJ fucked with them a little more yeah. and pushed his buttons a little more, mm-hmm. and, even called, versa, and even called him John Cena, and I love that shit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it, it was just good. So I think this is going to be a good build, and I think I don't think it's going to be any other type of match besides a regular on the mat. Okay. I think it'd be good though. They'll do some really cool stuff, especially with uh, Owens out there. Yeah, he just, he he's my favorite chicken shit heel right now. Oh, I got so fucking excited when Owens was teasing the fucking package pile driver. Oh. I was oh. like, oh my... I was like, oh, motherfucker. Have you seen what like, he does in Have you seen what he does, though? No. When he, he pick... I'm sorry. What? Go ahead. Go ahead. I mean, if you want to say it. He picks them up, and then instead of pile driving them, he, like, twists them to the side, and they fall on their back. It's hard to explain. Like, he le- like he picks them up, I, and then... I'm pretty sure I've seen this before. Yeah. But I'm having a hard time. Like he picks him up, it. and then he lets go with the left arm, and that side of the body swings over. And he, he basically does like a blue thunder. Okay, fucking, yeah. I don't even know what to call I, it. I, I got you. I got you. I'm, yeah. I'm getting it. Yeah, little he, by little, it's, it's coming. Yeah, I don't I think need, he'll ever do that, motherfucker. I yeah, doll not even with knees. Like may I don't know. Not even with knees, because it's more dangerous with knees. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think like maybe. Once he'll pop it out, but that's really rare. I don't know. I don't know who. I don't know. Like, he'll certainly get a talking to if he does it. Yeah. In the ring, most likely we'll get a fine of some kind. Maybe a suspension if he does it. I don't know. I have, I have no idea. Mm, I don't know. I don't. If he does, it's gonna be like the SOS, the or with the the SOS though. Mm. how it's a great move and makes sense for them and it's gonna literally be like that and the blue thunder bomb where it's an amazing move it totally makes sense while this will put somebody out yeah. but they're gonna kick out mm-hmm. because it's not their finisher yeah. and also the pop-up power bomb is great i love the pop-up power bomb yeah, it's good mm-hmm. every time he sets it up i'm like that just looks good mm-hmm. but uh yeah aj picks up the win uh even though owens his arm was up and blah 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 here comes SummerSlam, baby all right, what was after that? Uh, the Usos. 
Oh, that yeah, is so that sick. Good. I love that. Yeah, that was so good. I love that. It's so great. Their new music is great. Yes. Oh, and I was noticing, I was like, the, which one's the, the fluffier Uso? Uh, Jimmy. Okay. He slimmed down. Okay. Is he, that, that's the one that's usually wearing the hoodie, I think. Yes. Okay. The one in the hoodie, you can tell, he's like, oh, like, he's doing something different. Mm-hmm. Like, he's either working out or, like, not eating garbage like I do. He's looking better. And I was like, hey, all right, that's cool. But I also looked at their fucking haircut, and I was like, god damn, that's a fresh-ass haircut. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a lot like cleaner. I'm like, god damn, that's good. <laughs> I, think I, I think I did the same thing, and I was like, man, why, did, why didn't they look this clean before? And I was like, oh, because they used to have their hair down. Like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they look ugly. The yeah. only thing about them right now mm. that I hate is their hats. Like, the logo, it's too big mm. on those snapbacks. They're, like, really big. It's a really big font on there. Other yeah. than that... Everything about them is great. Yep. Them coming out, doing the New Day entrance, and calling, yo, <laughs> bust it up, tag team champions. Yep. And everybody was so let down. And they went out there, and they're still fucking rapping about <laughs> how the New Day sucks. Yeah. And yeah, they did the like whole two thing. Or three just talking shit. <laughs> it was good, and I loved it. It was so good, man. Yep. They are. I like how they came out. They're like pointing at fans. They're like, yeah. oh, <laughs> we, got, <laughs> we got you. What a fucking heel. Oh, what a heel. Uh, so and I like how after that they just left. Yeah, yeah. Nothing. no match, no fucking anything. I like it. Right after that, mm-hmm. the fashion peaks was. That was fucking hilarious. I, got, I am a huge Twin Peaks fan, yeah. so that shit was killing me. <laughs> no more metaphors. No more metaphors. I couldn't stop laughing. I paused it because I was laughing. It was so good. <laughs> no more metaphors. It was pouring the syrup on the wooden log. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, there's weird shit like that in Twin Peaks everywhere. <laughs> and then I like how on the on the board, it was like the Bella Twin Peaks. Yeah, yeah. Bella Twin Peaks. Yeah, and then uh, Becky Lynch, David Lynch, question mark. <laughs> and then they had Eraser Head on the yeah. thing, too. Yeah. Oh, my God. So perfect. So we're going to find out, hopefully, next week, who took Dango? I don't know who it could be. He said he knows. Probably the fucking Colognes or something. <laughs> They're released, I think. Okay. I think one of them left. Yeah, they have shirts in the in Pro Wrestling Tees. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't say that they're selling, but they're there. <laughs> that was mean. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. If it turns out to be the Ascension, I'll be upset. Yeah, I'm going to be real upset about they, that. It wasn't the Ascension. They went to go see Eddie Money that night. They didn't have no tickets. They had two tickets. They had two tickets, yeah. To paradise. <laughs> I wish that there was a segment of them at an Eddie Money concert. They just trying to like crazy. blend in. Like just like looking left and right and kind of enjoying the songs. We're like, shh, shh, shh. <laughs> He's like, all right, who's ready to go to paradise? And they're like, oh, shh, shh, shh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. What about you two guys with the painted faces? Uh, their faces are still painted. <laughs> well, of course, that's, that's the way they go everywhere. Their faces are still painted. <laughs> yeah, they're not even they're wearing their ring gear. <laughs> Don't you know anything about wrestling? Just a right? bunch of dads seeing Eddie Money in Hawaiian shirts and straw hats and mm-hmm. the fucking Ascension in the crowd, yeah. trying to blend in. Ascension has like pina coladas and they're just looking around. Hey. Yeah. These are our people. <laughs> I don't care how tough anyone is. Pina coladas are fucking delicious. Yeah. <laughs> They're fucking... They're I, good? Love me, I love I, me a good pina I'm, colada. I'm, okay I'm not like a super... I'm not I'm not as big a fan as you are. Oh, dude, I love pina but coladas. I'm, I'm okay with it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm even more of a pussy because they're not alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> they're yeah. so good, though. Yeah. Hmm? Fuck getting caught in the rain. Yo, Aiden's entrance? How great was that? That was really good. That was so good. Back to back to back, I was like, wow, this is amazing. Yeah. Back to back to back, fire. Everything about this was great. I don't know who's the head writer on SmackDown. I really want to find out. They but raise. They, you get that fucking money, that funny money. And uh, yeah, Aiden's entrance was great. He sang his, uh, his entrance on the way down. Mm. He had a match against Sammy. He stole the win. He stole it. He stole it. Good for fucking him, man. He's been winning lately. Yeah. Really? Yeah, like, they won the tag match last week, right? Yes. And then, uh, oh no, they lost. Did they? Yeah, Sammy pinned That's Bennett. That's right. Sammy pinned Mike, yeah. Yeah, but Sammy pinned Mike, not Aiden. Yeah. 
That's true. And then he won at the pre-show at Battlegrounds against Teddy Dillinger. Oh, yeah. Aiden and Mike would be a good tag. Yeah. It would. Did y'all tell me this and they're called The Art of Love? Uh... No, I think you're. I think you dreamed about that. No, but I think you asked us. I, I think you were asking a question like, "Who would you want to work together?" Oh, okay. And we like said that. Yeah. Okay. And then name? we also said Ty and Sammy. Yeah, I, I thought both those texts were actually good. They're called super positive. <laughs> super ten. Super ten. Uh, no wait. What's Sammy's name? <laughs> Sammy and the Zaniacs? I don't know. Sammy and the Zaniacs? That's <laughs> fucking stupid. We're done. I fucking hate Scott. Uh, after that, Becky, Naomi, Carmella, and Natalia had a tag match. It was really good. Yeah. yeah. It was, you know what? I usually am like, I'm going to skim a little bit of this match, but I didn't. I was like, you know what? I've been treated to this. I'm going to I'm gonna check it out. It was good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, everybody looked good. Yeah, it was super entertaining, honestly. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, I don't have more to say, but uh, I wish fucking... Bank of the title, but that's fine. I think uh, Naomi's been looking a lot better as a champion. Yeah. Like, in this match, she looks strong as fuck. Yeah. Like the fucking knee slide into slap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was just, like, hilarious. I think that's her new SIG. <laughs> good. A lot better than the rear view. And her submission <laughs> is vicious, man. Oh, yeah, it's fucked up. Yeah. yeah, I was looking at the submission. I was like, ooh. Yeah. I tap, like, immediately. I'm a bitch. <laughs> and then Becky has that fucking dirty ass, uh, oh, I'm going black right now. Because I was thinking about Becky and now her big smiling face is just in my head. She's so beautiful. The Exploder? Yeah, Exploder Suplex. The there you go. The Exploder Suplex? Yeah. The Beckplex. <laughs> That's probably better. <laughs> yeah. That was great. And then Natalia, you know, takes the powers like, you know what, fuck this. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, Carmella tapped. I tapped. Mm-hmm. That wasn't even in the goddamn submission. Oh, it's fucking. It looks horrible. It looks like immediately I tapped. Like she like wouldn't even get like her arm like in position. Be like I'm, I'm done. Like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, no! It looked horrible. Yeah. So I think uh, they're gonna have a good go about a SummerSlam. Naomi and uh, Natalia. Mm-hmm. I think it'll be good. Oh yeah, sp- going a little bit back to Raw. Um, uh, Bailey had a got a concussion. At a recent live show, mm-hmm. so they don't know if she's gonna be ready for SummerSlam. Well, there was that whole thing on WWE.com dot com where she has a shoulder injury. Oh, she has a shoulder injury. Okay. Yeah, shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. Oh, um, that's worse. But yeah, apparently. Wait, no, it's not. Your head's worse. Okay. Yeah, you're hurt. Yeah. I, I was, I, yeah. <laughs> no, it's, okay. I, I'm wrong. I'm, I'm like, totally you need wrong. Surgery on your shoulder, and eh, it could be okay. Do you need rehab? You, yeah. You yeah, yeah. You brain surgery. It's totally, you're totally fucked from there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Either way. Uh, she, apparently, she had a shoulder injury. Um, again, because of WWE and how they fucking do things. I honestly don't even know if it's fucking kayfabe or not. I hope it is, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll either see. way. Oh, did you guys see that Becky did the RVD when she walked out? No. The finger points, because her uh, tights or something have, like, this spray on them. Uh-huh. And it's, like, the art spray for RVD's onesies. Because uh, all of his onesies mm-hmm. are one of a kind. Literally one of a kind uh-huh. that he gets made. Onesie of a kind? Yeah. And I think her back <laughs> thing was, so she did the RVD walking out. Oh, uh, okay. And I was like, that's cool. I saw that, but I didn't, I didn't really, like, realize how was that. Yeah, I just saw her give glasses to kids. And I was like, okay, that's a thing. I feel like nobody <laughs> wants those. <laughs> she gave goggles, goggles. Every... Kid, she gives those to her like, I mean, you're cool, but you know, fuck steampunk. I think she, I think she gave it to like a Cena, like a Cena kid, like totally decked out Cena yeah. kid. <laughs> and he was just like, eh. cool. <laughs> but that match was good. Go ahead and watch it. it was what, good. what was after that? Baby? Oh, after Bobby. that was uh, Rusev and Gable. That was a oh yeah, hell of a match. That was so good. I remember. Okay, so. Rusev was coming out. I'm like, all right, little boy, Ruru, what we got? And then when Gable's music played, I remember I was doing something. I think I was playing a game, too. And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. And I put all that shit away. I put my phone on the charger. I was like, I want to watch this. That was awesome. I think I was actually in the middle of cooking my dinner at that point. I just got home from work, and I was, like, looking at everything. And I was like, I'm getting hungry. Let me make something. Yeah. And, like, I immediately, like, take whatever I was, like, put off the stove. And I was like, it's, it's going to be good. <laughs> I already knew. I was like, fuck it. I love Russo. Yeah. Fucking Gable's working his fucking dick off. I'm down. Yeah. Give me a fucking match. I wasn't disappointed. I hope they keep working together. That's an idea. I, I think I just put my phone on the side. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I did. I was like, oh, it's going to be a match. I put my phone down. 
I was watching it on my phone, so it was easier for me. Yeah. Okay. After the end of that match, I took a break to lie down because work's been really rough, so I didn't get to re- see the rest of SmackDown. All right. Yeah. But you guys can spoil everything. It's okay. All right. So that was a good match. That, that was, was a great match. match. Uh, right after that, Rusev wins with yes. the accolade. He actually does it really hard. It looks like it hurts. Oh, he does like a super kick and then like immediately goes into the accolade. Yeah, like, because he tried to put Gable in it and Gable like slid under him mm-hmm. and put him in the ankle lock. Yeah. So then Rusev got fucking mad and did the super kick and then he like grabbed him and just like manhandled him into it mm-hmm. and then Gable tapped. Gable taps like almost immediately. Yeah. Uh, like, yeah, I would too. Yeah. Yep. And I then, wish uh, Rusev had a slam as a finisher. Yeah, like a pop up power. <laughs> that'd be great. Just something because his matches always build and build and build, yeah. and then it's this slow burn of. Uh, and it's, but I love that. It's not. I like it when Samoa Joe does it, but then but Samoa Joe wraps his body around you and yeah. throws you to the floor, and you see this person dying. Mm-hmm. Every time Rusev does, I'm just like. I feel like this crowd would be super psyched if you just did, like, if he had, like, a fucking dragon suplex as his, oh, shit. his finisher, <laughs> All right. it's over. He, he's athletic. He can go to the top rope. Do, do a fucking splash. Even a fall-away slam would be Do a 450, no, just kidding. Damn, Rusev. 450. <laughs> Barefoot? Fuck. A frog splash? <laughs> All that mass hitting you? Damn. I, f- I don't know why, but after he hits the frog splash, I feel like he would do, like, a flex and then pin. <laughs> uh, after that, Rusev cuts a promo, and he's basically saying like, "Promo, no one could beat him." That they he won a competition. There's no competition, and that he's uh, what do you say? Oh, he's like John Cena can wave his flag all he wants, but he still technically didn't beat me. Yeah, he he's like he just me. put the flag up, whatever. Okay. And then he was like, "So there's no competition. I don't have a match at SummerSlam because everyone's scared of me, and they know I can win." This and that. And then his music started playing, so I was like, oh, okay, I guess he's done. And then Randy Orton's music started playing. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. And then I was like, oh, man. <laughs> and then he comes out, and this is the one gripe that Roman had. Yeah, it's like, it's, you know how I said it was a 9.8 <laughs> out of 10? He's literally the point two of this thing. Was it not a good exchange with him? No, because basically, like, he comes down, and he's going to get into the ring, and Rusev, like, rushes the ropes, and he's like, all right. And then he does it, like, another time. He walks around the ring, does it again, and then he gets a microphone. And you know how Randy always talks? Yeah. Has a shitty cadence with my promos. And then he does that eyebrow thing. Yeah. And then, like, it's just, like, it slowed down, like, everything that Rusev was building up. Like, he's building up this fucking yeah. badass shit. And then Randy fucking drives a car into it. I don't know what to do after that. Yeah, he, and then, he's like, yeah, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want me to get in the ring either. Yeah. And then Bruce is like, well, <laughs> and then Bruce is like, well, then fucking come in here. <laughs> and then, so he gets in the ring, yeah. and he's like, you say, <laughs> you say you don't have a match at SummerSlam, you don't have an opponent. Well, look no further than in front in front of you or some shit like that. Yeah. And the Rooster's is like cussing him out in Russian or some shit. That's tight. Like he's just talking in Russian all the time, like laughing at him. Yeah, he's like complete, like, it's just like a mile a minute, baby. He's just, he's talking Russian, nobody understands, but you're like, <laughs> hey, fuck you, Randy, you're a piece of shit worker, I fucking hate your guts, you got shot, I wouldn't stop anybody, and yeah, I was like, alright, cool, Rusev, you got me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and then he tries to swing at Randy, Randy ducks? Yeah, ducks and RKO. RKO's him. Man, what they should have done is they should have had... Uh, Rusev do a squash match, and then when he calls someone out, Gable's music plays because Gable's been accepting open challenges anyway. Yeah, he's been doing that. Like that's been his thing, so that would have been cool. Because that match was that match on a SummerSlam level. Woo! They would have set that place on fire. Yeah, but it said it's Rusev and Randy at SummerSlam. That they makes booked no it. Sense. That's the thing. That's man. Rusev just got back. I was excited for him. Yeah, I love Rusev. One of the best. Literally one of the best wor- workers that they have. Yeah, he's good. And they just keep shitting on him. And I'm like, fuck, man. When is this guy going to get the fucking heavyweight? I think that guy can carry that belt. Yeah. And yeah. in an ideal world, it would be Rusev and Cesaro for the the belt if they were both on SmackDown. Because that match... At least put him in the U.S. title picture. Like That'd yeah. be cool, too. Damn, Rusev and... I think, man... 
AJ and Rusev would look great. Because Rusev would finally have a chance to show his athleticism. Other than, I'm going to get buried in like the next 10 seconds. Yeah. Because he does get buried, and it makes me sad. Yeah. Yeah. Also, he's hilarious on the mic. He's funny. Handsome Rusev. Like Bulgari and George Clooney. <laughs> he's good. He's good. He's just an all-around good, good guy. But then after that, it was the main event. I've seen what happens in this one, and I've seen clips. I just haven't watched the match yet. I think that was it, right? That was just the main event. Yeah, it was just the main event, which is John Cena versus Nakamura. John Cena. Um, it was a good match. Um, I actually liked the way that the styles clashed. Anyway, nothing. Styles? He clashed. was earlier in the show. Yeah, I know. But you know, he's in the beginning. God damn it. Also, yeah. Did he come out? I don't remember that part. <laughs> you know. Rest Is he on commentary? <laughs> Wrestle Kingdom 9. Oh my god. Has AJ Styles ever done commentary? No, right? I don't know. Yeah, he's done it. I, I feel sure. like I would love that shit. Yeah, because yeah. I remember him. Uh, that was when he was a heel, though. Just cocky. Like, so- yes, heel. he has. Yeah, because he would do it with the club. Yeah. All they do is fucking call Colt Michael Cole a nerd and... <laughs> No. <laughs> well, of course he got this match. I mean, look at him. He's dumb Cena getting everything. Yeah. That's when the beat up John Cena campaign was happening. But yeah, the match was good. Um, nah, you got to talk about the one thing. The, the thing of that fucking match. Because, honestly, Tony, who doesn't watch wrestling all that much, and Eric, who doesn't watch wrestling all that much, watch SmackDown. With you? No, no, no. Not oh, with me, but they watched it on their own because their little brother, Juan Diego, loves wrestling. Yeah. Absolutely love. He watches everything that comes out on TV, he's on he's on it. Have you shown him the Young Bucks? He watches ROH, so he He watches ROH? Yes. That's fucking on, on, awesome. On, on Saturdays, I don't know if he watches it like in the morning, but I know I've gone there like Saturday nights, like around ten o'clock, and he's just sitting there. He's like, Hey man, what's going on? I'm like, Hey the Young Bucks and he's like, Yeah, Boo. <laughs> he's, he's total, That's awesome. He's the total, like, cheer for the good guy, yeah. cheer for the bad guy. You know Ooh. I mean? he, he's that guy. I wanted to see a Juice Robinson match then. But either way, I give him a little, I'm like, too sweet? He's off too sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, so, right. so, That's the shit. So they're watching SmackDown with him? So they're, they're watching SmackDown with him. Just yeah. like, you know, do something, keep a company. And, um, yeah, they watched it, and then they saw, you know, the bump gone wrong. I I've seen it quite a few times now. That wasn't Nakamura's fault. No, it's t- it's clearly not Nakamura's fault. It's John Cena, not as flexible. <laughs> Tucked his head when he shouldn't. Have. Yeah, yeah, it's his fault. And it's his fault. And basically, he's Nakamura setting up the what the reverse six exploder, exploder yeah, um, Ex- that sets up the the King Shasa. Stupid name, but. Fucking hate that. What does that mean? I have no idea. I don't know. We'll, we'll look it up later. They should have called. They should have kept the name the Boomay. I think. They should have. I think they couldn't in the states because there's a trademark in the states. Uh, I guess so. Yeah. Overseas in Japan, you can. Overseas in Japan, I can say, yeah, I'm Money Mayweather, and I'm gonna be the next fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I'm coming for you, pussy. <laughs> yeah, somebody has a problem like that. I'm like, I'm interested. <laughs> I'm interested right now, and I just made it up. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, basically, he goes. Uh, he sets up the. He's doing the uh, reverse exploder. John Cena tucks his neck in and lands like directly on his neck. It looked bad. I was like, oh shit, that wasn't supposed to happen. That looked ugly. <laughs> I was like, ooh, I really hope he's okay. I don't, I, as much shit I talk about wrestlers, I don't want anyone to get hurt. Oh yeah, definitely. So <laughs> I just watched, I was like... Ooh, that looked real bad. And I was like, immediately, I was like, that's not Nakamura's fault. <laughs> that's literally John Cena. He's too big. Yep. Not flexible. <laughs> he did the wrong thing. But yeah, he fell directly on his neck. And they gave him a little bit of time. He was okay. And then they gave uh, Nakamura, hit him with the King Shasa. But if you notice, he hit him like on the chest. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't, don't want to like... I don't want to, like, hit him in the face. Yeah, I don't want to hit him in the fucking head and then have his neck, like, go back. Yeah. Because he had too much trauma. But, again, Nakamura picks up the one, two, three, so he's going to SummerSlam against, uh... Ginger Mahal. It's going to be a weird fucking match. It's going to be a really weird match. That's going to be awkward as 
Fuck. Okay, I found out what's the story behind the King Shasha. Okay. King Shasha. King Shasha. So King Shasha is the capital of DRC and the city where the rumble in the jungle took place. And that's when Antonio Inoki, who was the founder of New Japan and Nakamura's mentor, mm. fought um, uh, Muhammad Ali. Oh, okay. okay. So there's a tie to it, and that's the city in the Congo where the event took place. Okay. Cool. Yeah, cool. So yeah. he still basically kept it the he kept it the legal bumaye basically. Okay, fair enough. I'm around with that now. Now I know. Now I'm fine with it. WWE has to do something about explaining that kind of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I literally do not know. <laughs> Nobody knows what that fucking means unless you go to the internet. You're like, what the fuck is this dumbass calling the King Shasa? You're like, oh, that makes sense. If WWE got in front of it, it would look better. Yeah, but. Uh, Nakamura's going against, uh... Gender. Gender. That's interesting. It's gonna be a weird match. Yeah, yeah. interesting. Well, first off, I want to give props to Cena, because that was a good match. Yes. Because they made, they kind of also hyped it up like, oh, it's finally happening to mm-hmm. you, like... Like, in the beginning, when, uh, Cena sw- swung, yeah. and then Nakamura ducked, and he, like, walked away all cool, you yeah, know, doing Nakamura. He does that little strut. That strut, yeah. yeah. And then Nakamura swings... Mm-hmm. And then Cena, Cena ducks, and so he does the you can't see. I was about to say that right now. And then look at Nakamura is like, Nakamura I can't. Like cleaning his eyes, yeah. like, oh, I can't see you. Like, <laughs> I've seen that gif like maybe a hundred times. Yeah. And then uh, he also did the thing where he puts Cena in the corner, like they're locked up. Oh, the, and then like he does the, the he noodle puts his arms. Hand on, yeah, the noodle arms, and Cena's all looking at him like weird, like what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, it, it was honestly really cool because John Cena's like the fucking strong American. Yeah. So like all his moves were power moves. And then, you know, Shinsuke had, like, you know, his style's a little more sleek. Yeah. So it was just a really cool, like, oh, okay, they, they can work together. They can work really good together. Did you do that badass knee where he just goes, yeah, and he lands on their head? It's the simple knee. I think he does. I just, I like that that's a move for him. <laughs> Every time. Yeah, sure. He did the one where he puts Cena on the top rope and oh, he runs and he does mm-hmm. a knee. He did that. That's a good one. He did that one. That's when Cena, one. like, all didn't really sell. Yeah. <laughs> like, because everybody, like, pops up when they do it. And mm. Cena's like, <laughs> He's too big. Off. Exactly. He's that's too what, big. That's, what's, that's one of the contributing factors to him taking that awful, you know. Do you see what Kevin Owens tweeted about it? Oh, yeah. He's saying, like, I mean, I don't know what you guys are panicking about. He just revealed he's a fucking Transformer. He didn't put fucking right. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, God. He just said yesterday he, he became a Transformer or whatever. Yeah. I, Kevin Owens is set for the rest of his life because if he, when he can't wrestle anymore because of injury or whatever, he's going to steal that commentary table. Oh, yeah. Have you seen his, have you seen his actual Twitter? It's just a black background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's no longer the face of America, so he doesn't put his face up. Like <laughs> but when he won the title back, immediately he changed it back. Yeah. And then he lost it again and he changed it back again. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Man, so good. Those two were just, fuck. Yeah, but uh, Nakamura picks up the win and then like they're like, oh my God, check out this replay. And they show him landing on his neck like eight times, and yep. then you see Nakamura mouth to or like, oh, yeah. him like I'm sorry, like I'm completely sorry. And Cena says something to the fact like, uh, "No need to be sorry. Yeah. This is your moment or something." And that's told him when he raises his fist. Or yeah. Right? Oh, he says that. Or yeah, he's like he tells him like, uh, "Don't be sorry." Yeah. He like shakes his head. He's like, "Don't be sorry." And then he says something else, like, to the effect of, like, this is your moment. Oh, okay. So I was like, all right, cool. I didn't catch that. That's cool. I saw a video uh, recently this week that, in honor of Cena losing clean, it's, like, a compilation of when Cena was at his, from Cena getting his peak, since when he actually became, you know, John Cena, Mm -hmm. uh, him losing clean to certain people. And there's some interesting ones in there. One of them was the HPK, and that one was great. But also the one, the great Kali, that was great. <laughs> that was like, oh, God, so good, because it's so funny. Everyone's so upset. <laughs> and then he's lost to Dean Ambrose clean. He's lost to uh, KO clean. He's lost to Triple H clean twice. Mm-hmm. He's lost to uh, Del Rio clean. He's lost to who else he did? There was a f- Oh, D-Bry. There you go. Okay. The D-Bry ones I know like a really big one, because that's when oh, D-Bry for- punk. Yeah. That's some, I don't know. That I'm wasn't clean, though, because technically, um, what's his name, got involved. Vince? Yeah, Vince and uh, Laurinaitis. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so technically that wasn't clean. Yeah. But a match with, like, no encounters, nothing, just a wrestling match. The Deep Arrow was a big deal, because that's the first time he won the belt. I remember that. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, he did it. Yeah. And then he took, they took it away. 
So NXT, guys? Well, 205. Watch oh, yeah. 205. God damn it. It actually is good. Oh, I remember the first match. <laughs> I, was, I was having trouble. It's Brian Kendrick and Gentleman Jack. And Gentleman Jack just beats the shit out of him and gets DQ'd for it. Really? That's really? It. Like, he's literally, like, stomping him. Like, he's, like, he's, uh, what is it? Kendrick is on the mat, and he has, like, his head underneath the ropes, like, to stop anything. And Gallagher's just, like, literally stomping on his back. He keeps stomping on him. So like, fuck this. And then they ring the bell, and he's like, they ring the bell, fuck it. And he drags him out of the ring and, like, slams him into the... The barricade uh, guardrail. The guardrail. And uh, yeah, that's that's how that first match ended. And that's... then after that was a really good match between uh, Grand Metallic and uh, Tony Nice. Oh, cool. Um, Gallagher. Okay, so uh, Pete Dunne's gonna defend the WWE UK title at a how not a house show, an independent show away from WWE. It's somewhere in New York against Gallagher. So really, yeah. I think it's going to be a progress show, actually. But it's going to be a progress show hosted in New York. Makes sense. Because mm-hmm. I think he's been doing a lot of title defenses at progress with the UK belt. Mm-hmm. The WWE belt. Um, but yeah, uh, that was a good match. It was weird because when you watch it, uh, when you watch Nice's in- entrance, there's literally like a camera like right there, like next to him at the entrance, at the beginning of the in- entrance. And he's all... Uh, uh, he's just like showing off and shit, but he's like talking to the camera. So he's like, "Let me give you the eight reasons uh, why I'm here," and he counts his abs, of course. And yeah. Then he just fucking like pushes him out of the way and makes his way to the ring. And they had a really good match. It was a fucking awesome match, to be honest with you. When Adam Cole first started wrestling, one of the things he did is he would get up, get on the apron, mm-hmm. lean back, and start counting his abs in front of people. So be like, one, two, three, four, five, six, and he'd be like, "Oh, what?" <laughs> <laughs> Most fucking dipshit heel thing. I wonder what that guy's gonna make his uh, NXT. But uh, probably at Brooklyn. Maybe I hope so. Okay, but we'll here. see. We'll see. Uh, what was the last? Grand match? Match, man. You think Vince McMahon ever looks at me? He's like, "Be Rey Mysterio, damn it." Oh, he's way more than that. He's really good. There's rumors of uh, Rey Mysterio coming back, but I think he chose to go with Global Force. Yeah, I don't know what's the deal with that company, but uh, NXT? Oh, uh, oh 205. 205. Had, had one last match. Uh, Tozawa and Ari Davari have a match to see who's going to face Neville at SummerSlam. Spoiler, my boy wins it. Right? Davari? No. He's not <laughs> my boy. But no, Tozawa wins. Uh, you know, Senton from the top rope. But it's one, one, two, three. You got another good match. It's just... Honestly, the best match of that night was the Grand of the Week and Tony Nese. Oh, sounds... by the way, Tony Nese picked up the win. <laughs> really? Yeah. I wonder what Grand Matelli did to make everyone hate him. I don't know. <laughs> but they, they do a little promo uh, as well for Grand of the Week. He's like, hey, motherfucker. Like, eh, he's just talking in Spanish and you can read the subtitles. I wasn't reading them. I was just like, oh, okay, I got the point. All right. I know what you're trying to say. All right, cool. All right. Moving on. You got the match. Great. All right. NXT. What the but, man, NXT was so fucking good. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. NXT, let's bring it down. Uh, First thing was uh, Gargano. Gargano and Raul Mendoza made his when, debut, baby. When Gargano walked out, and he's all, wait, something's different. And then he plays the new music, and I'm like, I mean, can we play the other music instead? <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I was like, this is not for me. Yeah. It reminded me of that one of Skylar Drive song that Pat used to play all the time. The everybody, everybody. Yeah. Did. I, I was like, no. Gargano fucking shit. Can't wait for Chompa to kick your ass. Yeah. You? Oh, so, what? Back with the fucking treats? Who breeds? Huh? Who breeds? I ain't paying shit. Right. Uber Deets. Uber Eats. Joseph's back with the Taco Bell we had. Yeah. Asked for him to order in I'm the beginning the of the taco episode. Bell. All right. Who ordered the Young Bucks Buffalo Ranch? <laughs> <laughs> young Bucks Buffalo Ranch. <laughs> they eat Cracker Barrel mostly. Or Denny's, right? Or Applebee's. 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 Applebee's and some cheeseburger egg rolls. <laughs> that's fucking disgusting. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, that's slavery the first time I heard that shit. Who ordered the Adam Cole Bay Bay Rito? <laughs> I did. Oh. Wait, Dorito Locos? Yeah. Yeah. Who had two? Yeah. Two. Is, it, is this my Baja Blast? Uh, the one with no straw in it. Oh. oh. This one? Well, I didn't yes. drink out of that one. 
Do you got an extra straw? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll be back in just a minute, folks. Yeah, so Gargano's music, ah, whatever. I was, I'm, I'm okay with it, I don't care. Like, I'm not, like, super into his music, but, I mean, I listen to music that's around that, so I'm like, alright, fine. It's the same shitty music I listen to, so let's go. Just when I started playing, I was like, man, you fucking would. <laughs> you totally would. That's who he is, bro. But, I, man, Chapel's gonna have the best fucking music, you already see it. I'm gonna take Kevin Owens' music. It's just gonna be a chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so. Oh my god, I can't wait. It's just a chainsaw with like a fucking blast beat. Just a yeah. fucking. Oh wow. And he just runs to the ring. Yeah. That'd be cool. Uh, Raul Mendoza, Mendoza looked really good in this match. Yeah. yeah, man. I was excited for him. I was like, hell yeah. When Gargano gave him that lariat and he just kipped up like nothing, mm-hmm. I was like, oh, excuse the fuck out of me. We got a badass. <laughs> he, it looked like he, he lost some weight because yeah. he was kind of chubby. Yeah. In the Cruiserweight Classic. Yeah, I, that's what I was telling you last week when he, like, I was like, he looks really good. He looks. Yeah, he looked good. He looks a little more slim in, uh, in the. In his suit, so I was like, it's gonna translate to the ring, of course. Yeah. Right. He lost some fluff. He looks good. They both look I good in that he match. He was from Mexico, though. Or, like, they they build him from Mexico. I didn't think it was Mexican. I thought he was, like, Puerto Rican or something. No, yeah, he's from Mexico. Fair enough. Alright. Nice to see you. Either way. It was uh, a good match. Yeah, what's yeah. Gargano's finisher again? Uh, the Gargano escape. That's a submission. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? Okay. It's, it's like a cross face. It's like yeah, but uh, the, the arm goes instead of between his legs over his head. Okay. So, so yeah. he gets them gotcha. like that, and and then he pulls like that mm-hmm. with their head. It's it's a good look. I forgot mm-hmm. the submission. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I don't know about like a finisher, like not a submission. His signature is that uh, crossbody through the ropes. The spear. Yeah. Let's say crossbody. Yeah. Is... <laughs> well, that's impressive. If that was his signature, uh, that's his signature. The yeah. I, I want to say like he. I got nothing. I like Brian correcting me. You mean the spear? Like, oh yes, I mean the spear. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you mean the spear? Let me see when Brian Alvarado. Yeah, but they had a great match. Yeah. So Gargano's coming in looking hot. It's too bad. Chamba's gonna kick his ass when he comes back. Now sanity and the authors of pain. It's gonna be a great match. Cool. Sanity's finally gonna win the titles that they. I think meet. Sanity's gonna. Uh, for some reason, I have a feeling they're they are going to uh, what you gonna call it uh, the new day it where when they go to the ring because they had Eric Young in the picture too. Oh, they're gonna I was, it? Yeah, I wonder if like is Eric Young gonna be maybe like tagging mm-hmm. with Killian Dane? Yeah. I don't know yeah, that. They're gonna free bird rule it. Yeah. yeah. All right, fair enough. I don't know. Yeah, that's yeah. just a hunch. I don't know. But that's good. Um, authors of pain, they gotten better. Uh, Ellering is always great on the mic. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's gonna be a good clash of basically the two uh, former undefeated because Killian did lose. Mm-hmm. But uh, authors of pain, uh, yeah. Maybe. I think if anybody can can bring the best out of the authors of pain, it might be Killian. I don't know about Alexander Wolf, but Killian, I think can bring it out of him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They they showed uh, the replay from last week, mm-hmm. and I never I didn't realize how much like they no sold sanity. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. it was ridiculous. Like Killian closed on one of the authors of pain, and he just like he like yelled, and then like the dude like stood right up, and like he turned around, and he started just beating the shit out of Killian. Yeah. Yep. So that was cool. Yeah. Or that's gonna be cool. What was next? The profits thing. Uh no, Oscar and em- uh, Ember. Oh, okay, there you go. Asuka? Asuka. Oh, I like how Asuka is just in her her, her suit, her mm-hmm. little pant suit. Mm-hmm. And she comes out, and she still does a little dance, and mm-hmm. she looks great. And she just says, like, three sentences, no one's ready for Asuka. <laughs> Amber Moon isn't ready for Asuka. <laughs> and the crowd's like, yeah, fuck yeah, you're the best. Yeah. <laughs> She's like a heel, but, like, everyone still loves her. Yeah, yeah, and then Amber came out, and they had a good stare down, and mm-hmm. they, had, they both looked good. Yeah, they beat each other's that asses. That fucking slap that Oscar did to Ember. Oh, that was hard. And then that forearm that Ember gave Oscar, <laughs> I was like, "Fuck!" And then Oscar kicked her ass, and then Ember snuck up and hit that uh, the Eclipse, mm-hmm. 
And she was uh, she was left standing. And she almost cursed herself by touching the belt. Uh-huh. That's the curse. I'm supposed to touch the belt the week before the or before the pay per view. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So she says she's gonna earn it. She'll touch the belt when she earns it. And uh, for Brooke, take over Brooklyn. I think she's gonna get the win. I really do. I think so too. I saw a tweet. I think it was a random tweet. I don't even know. I think Asuka might have retweeted it, but it's the. Uh, I wish I had uh, Asuka levels of confidence. And it's just a gif of her like coming out with the suit. Oh, and she looks like, so still good. Doing the fucking dance. The dance, yeah. I love that dance. <laughs> I imagine <laughs> her in the club just like that, walking around. Yeah. And... <laughs> her, her and uh, Hideo. And Hideo's like just sitting in the corner. And just, All like, stick in the mud. Yeah, I just like, I just got the fucking drink. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no one respects me. I want a drink. <laughs> I feel like Hideo at a club is a nightmare for dudes with girlfriends. Because he's a handsome dude. Mm-hmm. And he looks good in a suit. So yeah, but he's married and he has kids. Good for him. Um, then it was the Bobby Roode sit down interview. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh man, so good, so hilarious. Really good. Bobby Roode broke down to me. Bobby Roode made me believe. Okay, so when he broke down the whole lottery thing, yeah. he's all poor people play the lottery. You know why? Because they want to get rich overnight. They weren't born, you know, successful millionaires. Mm-hmm. They can do it all like me. And then he explained how Roderick Strong is from a trailer park. And, of course, mm-hmm. he wants to play the Bobby Roode lottery again. And the whole time I was like, man, dude, you are just... <laughs> You're too much. You are just the <laughs> fucking best on the mic right now. Holy shit. And then he talked about McIntyre mm-hmm. and how they're going to have a sit down next week. And then uh, Roderick came back. Mm-hmm. Roderick stormed back there trying to kick his ass and Bobby Roode got away. Yeah, he takes the powder. Yeah. Um, are they going to possibly make that a three-way? Maybe. Maybe? If they make it a three-way, maybe I mean, I figured, Roddy like, gets it? I don't know. If not a three-way, I do think Drew would win it if they did the three-way. Because they're really protect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're protecting Drew right now. Okay. Like, his, he's still undefeated. Yeah. And his matches have been great. He's been looking great. So, I wholeheartedly think he's going to win that belt. I think Roddy will win it eventually. Just not if he is involved this next mm-hmm. one, this next upcoming uh, take over, but he is going to be on it concerning they acknowledge that. Yes. So I'm wondering who he's going to have a match with. I'm thinking they might put him against Alistair for like a showcase. One of the like, just be good out there. You want yeah. a match, you got a match. And he'll like a number one contenders match with Alistair. Possibly. Alistair's still undefeated. I don't think Alistair is ever going to be in the title picture. He doesn't need it, but they might put him in it. I just, I don't know. It's just weird. I felt like he wouldn't give a shit. I don't know why. It just, it'd be like Kenny Omega with the US belt. It's like, this thing's in my way. Yeah. He's just so good. Yes. He's just so good. And then they tease the... Okay, so I found out who's in Street Profits. Okay. Well, I don't know one dude, but the other dude is that guy who was always cooking in the bowl when he came out. You remember that dude? Uh no. D'Angelo or something like that? I, he's in a... He was in a... I guarantee if I showed you one of the squash matches, you'd be like, oh, this fucking guy? Oh, did he come out with the backpack? No. He came out just like in a, like, a onesie. And he would, that was his thing. He would just, his taunt. He would just like cook in a bowl when he came out. That sounds familiar. Yeah. And he would get squashed like really quick. Oh, really? Yeah. But now he's in a tag team with the Street Profits, which I'm interested to see what that is. I mean, that's that's their thing now, the cooking thing. Yeah. So <laughs> putting that over, <laughs> which is really good. Uh, I have nothing to say about the street profits. I'm just like, all right, I'm excited I, for him. I want to yeah. see like a match. That's what I want to see next week, bro. But all the the promos, I'm like, okay, I I understand what they're doing. That's one match, right? <laughs> yeah. That's just me. Mm-hmm. Well, after that. So, this was the developmental portion of NXT, because Sonya Deville had a match against Jenna Van Bemmel. Mm -hmm. I'm not sold on Sonya Deville. I'm not saying I'm not a fan. I like her look, but her in-ring ability, not even ability, her in-ring style makes no sense to me. She's dressed like a striker. Mm -hmm. She doesn't strike. She has has a submission, right? She has a submission. (laughs) And she has like a few, I guess, grapples and whatnot. Yeah. But she's small. Mm -hmm. So they're not. I thought she was a boxer and she wasn't. So I was just really confused. I was like MMA and like just the look. I was like, oh, look, she's just dressing like she's an MMA. Okay. 
But yeah, they're kind of billionaire is like, oh, she fucking hits like a truck or whatever. Yeah. And I'm like, she hasn't really hit anybody. No, yeah. I was like, it's all grappling. That's fine. Because she's wearing the sandbag gloves. The sand yeah, gloves. And then <laughs> her videos are her doing uh, a shadow boxing. Yeah. And I was like, well, Mom's doing a good job of like letting you know what she's doing. Mm-hmm. I was like, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not sold on her either. She has the MMA look. I'm like, okay, it's fine. One thing I'm disappointed this week, we didn't get to see any Peyton Royce. Yeah, I don't know where they at. Oh, but I did see on Twitter, apparently, they're like, we can, uh, I think it was Peyton Royce. I think I follow her on Twitter. I don't know if I follow <laughs> Billy K. I think I do, too. But she was like, me and Billy K can now deadlift 300 pounds. We're basically power lifters. <laughs> 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 and I was like, God damn it, these girls are getting over with me. They're so good, man. And Peyton Royce is such a great wrestler. She is. She and is. That's weird to say, but she's gotten really she's, good. She's gotten a lot, lot better. So yeah, as for that match, I don't oh, care. I yeah, just, uh, I'm not sold on Sonya Deville. Again, developmental. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what is this? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, it was just like, this is a weird match. It was only like two minutes, three minutes. And I was like, okay, that's a sweet triangle choke. Shrug? Yeah, I was just like, what's next? <laughs> and I was like, oh, Alistair Black. All right, I got to keep watching. And then Hide- Hideo's a bad heel. I'm going to say it. Hideo's a horrible heel. Yeah. Everybody likes him too fucking much. <laughs> he he is a sweet face. But he's a great baby face, and mm-hmm. that's hard to be. Mm-hmm. So they sh- honestly should have kept him as a baby face. Yeah. People believe in him. They should just keep him as a baby face and just... Have him be like one of those dickhead baby faces. Cause that's what he could do, you know? I think they should just, uh, the way they tie Dillinger to him, just keep him 100% baby face because people believe in him. Yeah. Like I when he know. comes out and when he's like, you will respect, and then he stuttered when he was saying it. <laughs> he stuttered and said, you will re- respect me. And I was yeah. like, oh, fuck, dude, this is just adorable. <laughs> it's like when a kid's like, I want to do it now. When you're like, we'll do it in a minute. And then Alistair Black came out. It kicked him in the face. <laughs> yeah, Alabaster Black fucking came out and fucking fucked this shit up. Kicked that shit out of him in the face. That was a really clean fade to black. Yeah. <laughs> that was dirty. That was, was dirty. Good. Oh, no, he just like fucking did his pose, like his little, his crossed leg pose. Yeah. I was like, right into it. I was like, this, mother- this motherfucker has it. I-T it. He has it. It would make total sense for him to be the next Paul Heyman guy. Yeah. It made with total fucking sense. He doesn't have to say a word. Heyman gets it all. Mm-hmm. Man, he's such a good look. And then we had Premiere. I was super excited about this. Oh, Great yeah. music. Yes. Great music. Right off the bat. Really? I didn't like his music. Really? You didn't like it? No. Do you like Gargano's music? No. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. Do you like Roddy's music? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I liked his music because it was just like that one hard ass riff. I gotta listen to it again, I guess. When the lyrics kicked in, I will agree. I didn't like that part. That's the only part I heard. Yeah. I was like, okay, who's That's the only part I was paying attention when the guy was, or whoever was singing, and I was like, this is whack. Yeah. I will agree with you on that. But when he came out, it was awesome. He got a big pop. Really? Really? Um, they showed two people in the audience that were doing the I can't fucking believe oh, yeah, he's, here. Shit he's here <laughs> remember that one dude who did it when James Storm came out oh, yeah. they always play that one dude just like oh my god <laughs> I was like why are you yelling he sucks <laughs> <laughs> fuck this guy woo awesome but him and Alistair had a really great match yes Really fucking great. I, that one was even better than the fish and Alistair go about. That one was good. Yeah. Was and good. it went on long. Like, it went on pretty long. It was like a full 15 minute match. It was That's probably like the hardest Alistair had to fight. Yeah. Exactly. Basically. It was actually a fight. Yeah. It was cr- him, him and Fish actually gave Alistair a run for his money. Yeah. Um, that. I think it was called. Ah, fuck, I thought I wrote it down. But basically, they hinted what. O'Reilly's finisher is going to be and it's like that hammer uh, stomp to the hammer stomp to the back of the neck mm-hmm. to that elbow oh the axe kick the axe kick there you go axe oh, kick to the elbow dirty dude yeah they basically hinted that's his finisher and it's good yeah with the elbow in the look. face that's so tight he, was... also, he also has the Armageddon oh yeah the Armageddon which is the it's just a uh, arm bar arm bar yeah basically cross arm breaker the cross arm breaker yeah which how many people are doing that yeah, a lot. Yeah. But I, I'm mad they 
Shinsuke's not doing his because his was awesome. His cross arm breaker. Yeah. When he would, uh, I just remember specifically when Okada gave him the Rainmaker and he caught it and got into the cross arm breaker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was some good shit. He had a good one against Baron. Was that NXT? No. It was on SmackDown. I think it was like two weeks ago. It was after, it was the, the week, at, it was the, yeah, last week. Had to be last week. Into a cross arm breaker? Yeah. Nakamura did like some flare shit with him. That was really crazy. He was doing it during the Cena match. Really? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Oh, cool. I haven't seen him do it. And Cena kept like, oh, wait, that's right. He hasn't been wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> I'm being dead serious. He's well, yeah, I remember him uh, setting up the, the way he does his cross arm breaker. Man, so talented. Oh, where he like actually climbs on him, basically. Yeah. He didn't do that. Okay, oh, yeah, that's what I want. Not, okay, not yeah. He didn't do that to Cena, I'm but he, sure he, he did put him in. Bear, he basically the, the way Naito does Destino, he basically does it like that, yeah. but with a cross arm breaker. Crazy. Uh, actually, one thing that Robert told me it was after SmackDown ended or whatever. Yeah. Like the Cena match and all that. Uh huh. Baron Corbin came out and attacked Shinsuke, and then Cena ran back out and helped Shinsuke. And then Cena and Baron had a match, I think. They had a match? Yeah, I think. Or they, they were just, like, fighting each other. Oh, oh no. Cena came back to help Shinsuke, and then Cena put Baron through the announce table. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm like, is that going to be a thing at SummerSlam, maybe? Cena and Baron? Yeah, and then Robert was like, I don't know, maybe. Maybe? Yeah. Cena is does need a program. Yeah. I so. mean, he is an independent agent. That's yeah, he's a free thing. agent or still whatever. Free agent. Maybe he goes to Raw and fights Brock Lesnar. I don't know. He's John Cena. He can do whatever he wants. <laughs> he was, John Cena. He's an independent. <laughs> he's an independent agent. He's like, I'm going to fucking PWG. <laughs> and I'm gonna fuck up everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Global Force Wrestling after that. Oh, Super Dragon and with- CMLL. <laughs> okay, that, okay. See, but that I would watch. CMLL. Oh yeah. Yeah, Cena and CM- CMLL. I would totally watch that. Right? Man, I would him against Pentagon Jr. Oh, no. I'm like, yo, dude, I know you're big, but Pentagon about to fuck you well, up. Pentagon's not in CMLL anymore. You're right. Damn it. That's why he's, he's Penta PWG? L- he's in PWG. But Pentagon about to fuck you up, stupid. Jeff Hardy. You know what? Change my mind. Sammy Callahan's going to fuck you up. Damn. Sammy Callahan will kick his ass. I'm a fucking fan of Sammy Callahan. I was actually watching. It came out on Facebook. It was just randomly on my fucking feed. And it was uh, F- Finley and Sammy Callahan. Oh, yeah, they came up on my feet, too. Yeah, it was like Evolve <laughs> number nine. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and, like, Sammy had, like, almost no <laughs> offense in. Like, it was all Fit Finley. That's oh, I, never, I didn't watch it. I watched the whole fu- It was a 25-minute match. I watched the whole fucking thing. Was it terrible? It was kind of bad. I mean, it's good, but it was just like, damn, Sammy's not, like, getting anything in. Like, every time it was Fit Finley just fucking him up. Have you watched any Lucha Underground? No, I have not. Sammy's looking good on that. I, it's on. Is it on Netflix? It's on Netflix now, right? The first season is yes. Nucha Underground makes sense, so start it from the first season. Yeah. Because things do happen, and yes. it does explain the story. How many episodes? In the first season? Yes. I think it's like twenty something. They're an hour piece, and they're stretched out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I well, I was telling all this off mic that my Netflix app, I could download episodes, and I was like, "Fuck yeah!" And watch Nucha Underground. Now I'm thinking it is I don't want to watch 24 episodes of that, and then on top of what I'm trying to get through now. They have a good roster though. Like it's uh, Johnny Mundo. They got Brian Cage in there. They have this one thing they're doing right now where Brian Cage has like this Iron Fist, mm-hmm. and Brian Cage has killed a few people with it. Like okay. he's the machine Brian Cage, yeah. and this thing is like it's held. He for some reason can't get the belt, and something's holding him back. Mm-hmm. So they're booking it to where they made him this fist. Mm-hmm. To where he can be the best, but when he uses it, he's too strong, and he's already killed like two people on camera because they do skits behind. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. So, and it's just cool. And then you know, Ricochet's in there, Prince Puma, mm-hmm. Matt, Matt Cross is in there, mm-hmm. uh, Johnny Mundo. Uh, I think I already said that. Sexy Star, who else is in that bad boy? Quite a few people, man. Yeah, it's pretty good. They have a good roster. Uh, William Max in there. Right? Yes, yeah. the Mac. Oh, he's just the Mac. Right? Yeah, and people just chant "Return of the Mac." Hey, I'm down. All right, you got me in. <laughs> yeah, it's good shit. She's been right. say. But yeah, that was NXT. Fucking awesome match. NXT fucking Tizzle. That's not a T. I I tried to make my fingers make a T. I can't do it. Hey, next week NXT. 
Cien uh, almas and no es Jose. Oh, it's right. Hey. No, wait. Jose. No, wait. He's not even doing that. Battle of the Evil Dancers? I'm leaning down. Or the Evil Dancer versus the Happy Dancer? I've never stopped him before. <laughs> yeah, it's just one winged. It's not, it does, it's not doing it. He looks stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you look like no. a, yeah, you look like you're doing a chicken dance. Anyways. I think that's that's pretty much it. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Anything else? I uh, did. I did finally watch. Uh, I don't know why I've been delaying it so long. I watched Game Over Man, the PWG. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to catch up on PWG. Um, that's was, impossible. <laughs> I, I'll fucking do it. That's impossible. No, you suck at watching stuff. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Not even just you. Just the way PWG is released. I think it has something to do with me. I, I don't, I don't, I'm, terri- <laughs> I'm terrible. I've been stuck on the second episode of Food Wars. <laughs> hey, for a good long show time. though. <laughs> Again, I just figured out Netflix sent me to download things. I'm trying to work my way through Flash. It's hard because it's not so much hard now of to what I figured out. But before, jeez, uh, I don't know how people binge watch shit. I'm terrible at this. Uh, I'll let you know when the G1, the first uh, semifinals are, so that way... <laughs> that be better. Yeah, I can, I can do that for you, yeah, no problem. Because I'm, I'm barely on, like, night 9, I think night 11 just happened, so... I can't I can't do that. I was telling you, I was like, I hope there's, like, a compilation that has all the tournament matches. I can hook you up. Yeah, because I have to do that. I can't scrub through things. I have this disease where I can't do that. Um, yeah. It's looking good, though. It's a really great... Yeah, I mean, there's just such a mix of everything. Mm-hmm. I really, really enjoyed it, and I'm really thankful that I finally got to watch it uh, this year. So, mm-hmm. um, Juice has been looking great, man. Ooh, I did see like the last three minutes or the last minute of the Juice and Okada. That was a great match. Great match. That's Juice, he hasn't been winning a lot of matches, but he's been looking good in all his matches, yeah. and that's what's really important. Mm-hmm. Um, Sonata's been looking great. Him and Toriano had a great match. It was hilarious. Toriano's been putting on some of the funniest fucking matches, which he's always had, always has. But there's a level of athleticism with this too, with the people who he's wrestling. Yeah. So it's just so fucking good. He's been great. Evil's been great. Mm-hmm. Kenny's been Kenny. Um, <laughs> Kenny's been killing. Tamatanga. Tamata- Dude, Tamatanga has really grown on me. Really? He is great. <laughs> he has a picture that he posted of him in his gear and is like a cross between Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. And for some reason, I just imagine Vince McMahon looking at, at that photo and creaming, mm. his, and creaming his fucking mouth. <laughs> you can have both! <laughs> <He's>, ah! <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. And he's, been looking, he's been great though and he's been very much teasing this I, the Elite and Bullet Club are going to be at war at some point. Mm-hmm. That's definitely going to happen. And the latest being the Elite, too. Yeah. Cody pulled Marty to the side and said, did you get the call from Tama? You know, he makes some good points. Yeah. So I do think it's probably going to be the Bucks and Kenny versus the Gorillas of Destiny and Cody at some point as far as the Elite versus the Bullet Club. And you think uh, Marty, Marty's going to be in the middle of it? Or? Yeah. Of course, because he's so funny. Yeah. Marty Skrull is one of my favorite wrestlers <laughs> talking. Those guys have great asses. <laughs> <laughs> so, come on, guys. We're in the elite. It's awesome. We get to kill people. It's so great. <laughs> <laughs> Brian always brings up what he told Flip Gordon to me because he knows it makes me fucking laugh. He's like, I'm only in Bullet Club for the much money. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. When he gets the call from Stone Cold, oh, I better take it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, Japan, man, amazing. Yeah, so great. I, I know it's good. It's just, ooh, it's it's a lot of wrestling to get through. Yeah, Especially that's why I I've accepted that I'm not going to watch Raw and I'm gonna substitute the G1 for that. I think that's a good idea. I'll continue, I'm gonna do that. I'll torture myself with Raw just so I can, can get us through. So don't worry about it. I hate myself enough that I'll watch Raw. God <laughs> uh, damn it. But yeah. Um, Fucking wrestling, guys. <laughs> wrestling. <laughs> All right, I think we're about we're about at the end of our wits here. Uh, fucking, we gotta end it the way we always do. Match of the week, what you got? Uh, Tama Tonga, Juice Robinson. All right. A great match. I mean, the G one's full of a bunch of great matches, but specifically, they both looked great. Mm-hmm. And also, they're two of the most upcoming from different. You know, one of the best heels coming up. 
uh, and not even like to put them down as up and comers, but they've both just been shining. Yeah. Juice Robinson is probably the best baby phase right now. Mm-hmm. Period. Holy shit. After his matches, I, I watch his, um, his press conferences because mm-hmm. he cut some of the best babyface promos ever. You really believe in this dude. Mm-hmm. Like, fuck. It makes me think, like, man, if Ty Dillinger ever went to New Japan, he'd be accepted too. <laughs> like, because Juice left initially when he was CJ Parker so he can get better and come back. Yeah. Now he has no intention to go back because he loves Japan so much. Yeah. And they both had a great athletic match. They both look great. That's my match of the week. I loved it. All right. Brian, you got a match of the week? Uh, there's so many, but I'm gonna pick Rusev and Chad Gable, because huh? it's so good. That was a great match. I loved how Chad Gable is so technical, mm-hmm. but just it just showed how like fucking strong Rusev is. Mm-hmm. He just overpowered everything Chad Gable was trying to do. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it was it was a damn good match. Great pick. I might go back and watch that again. I loved his uh, his ankle lock. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the the super kick. That he ducked into the into the ankle lock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, it that was a good really, spot. Really, good. It was real smooth. Yeah, um, man, it was really good. It was good. Is that, is that it was good. Do you want to say more? Huh? Um, the moon salt was tight. <laughs> Dude, Chad Gable has a great moon salt. Yeah, I like the way he teased it, and then it happened. Yeah, they landed. Yeah, yeah and then he threw fucking Rusev into the corner. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was good stuff. Good stuff. Yep. Yeah. Uh, my match of the week is uh, Alabaster Black and fucking... <laughs> Alistair! Uh, fucking Keely O'Reilly. Kyle O'Reilly. <laughs> yeah. Keely. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Kyle O'Reilly and... Uh, I almost called him Alabaster. <laughs> 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 Alistair Black. Um, I just thought it was a really good match and it showed off what Kyle could actually do. And I think that's going to work for him. Because he's not great on promos. And I saw like a WWE promo, which wasn't bad, actually. It, sounded, it looked like he was getting better. Um, but yeah, it just showed off you know, what he can actually do. He can come off as an arrogant prick, easily. Yes. Because he, he did that in ROH. Mm-hmm. You know, he'd fucking wear like, like fucking pink polo shirt with the cardigan well, over tied and like just be a dick and oh, shit. I'm sorry, are we talking about Bobby Fish? No, we're talking about uh, Kyle Riley. They both oh. did it. Okay. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I remember one time, like, Kyle Riley was like, do you know what this is? This is J. Crew. And, like, oh, I was just God. like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and he's just, just talking shit. I'm going to have to intervene and say my favorite Kyle is uh, Sleazy Kyle. Sleazy Kyle's the best Kyle. Sleazy Kyle's the best fucking Kyle. <laughs> so sleazy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this promo was, was good. It wasn't super arrogant. It was just saying, you know, it was a baby face promo. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know how he could do, I don't know how well he does with those. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you it after. It's on the, I think it's on the WWE uh, YouTube. YouTube. Oh, okay. So okay. We'll, we'll He's the violent it. artist. All right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to put him with Champa, and they're just fucking out of their minds. And then Bobby <laughs> Fish is going to be with Gargano for some reason, and then we'll just see what happens. This is make a stable. Champa, Fish, O'Reilly, and Heel Roddy. Damn. You're like, yeah, yeah, we're not six feet, but fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically that statement. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we're all 5'10 and below. <laughs> yeah, but we still kick your Imagine ass. Imagine all four of them just like, for some reason, like ganging up on uh, the great Kali, like Gulliver's, Gulliver's Travels, <laughs> just tying that motherfucker down. <laughs> Gulliver's Travels. <laughs> what, is, what is the faction name? Um, six below? Six feet below. <laughs> <laughs> Wrestling. Wrestling. But go ahead and check out all those matches. Next week we're going to have, I'm serious, we're going to have our top five uh, fucking... Matches we go gay for? Yeah. And then we'll do women if you want. I'm not too interested in that one. It's, <laughs> it's literally going to be the same ones every time. Dude, I'm ready right now on my five. We'll, we'll do it next time. It's called Guys? Tease, baby. Tease. Please see Kyle's one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that's a tease. You know, it's Sleazy Kyle's one of them. Joey but, Ryan. <laughs> Joey Ryan, apparently, is another one. <laughs> and this is the end of the episode. Be sure to follow us on Grimworks. Everywhere you can, just put Grimworks. It's there. Uh, if you're listening to us on YouTube, go ahead. Uh, click that little bell next to the subscribe button, as well as the subscribe button. Comment. Let us know who your top five guys you go gay for. 
and wrestling. And uh, if you want to email us, citypod80 at gmail.com. And the title just put wrestling. Check out Brett Club Gaming. Oh, yeah, check oh, out Brett Club Gaming. Brian, I, I, I want you to do a full promo for this. Go ahead. You got the floor, baby. Check out Brett Club Gaming. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's a week as ever. Brett Club Gaming. It is a Brett Club podcast. Gaming is a project that is a new podcast that me and my friends Henry and Eric started. Uh, we're on episode three. It just went up today. It goes up every Wednesday on SoundCloud right now. Uh, but we should be on iTunes soon. We can get a logo. Uh, if you want to get updates on it, just follow me on Inst- on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. It's at xbricks underscore. I just changed my Twitter name. Okay. Um, oh, you changed your name to Bricks? Yeah. Why not and, xbricks x? I don't know. What about Bricks Bread Club? Bread up, brick oven pizza. <laughs> <laughs> brick oven. We'll talk about this after. But yeah, it's, uh, we just talk about video games, talk about the weekly news, talk about what we're playing. There's um, no mention of Kojima just before anybody. Yeah, no mention of Kojima. It is a wrestling thing that we got it from Kojima. But yeah. And, He's uh, not doing that great in the G1, if anyone's wondering. Oh, that's why we haven't shot him out. He needs to do better, baby. And uh, we also do reviews, which are terrible. Don't pay attention to the reviews, but. Don't come for the reviews, but come for the rest. Man, you know what? Come for me. Maybe I'll be a guest. Yeah, if, if you listen, I'll still be a guest. If yeah. you're not tired of my annoying ass voice. You think yeah, I don't know? <laughs> if you think I don't know anything about wrestling, oh, you should hear me talk about video games. Because <laughs> I don't know shit. Yeah, it. it should be up on iTunes soon, hopefully. And like I said, come at me, bro. Come at me. What's that mean? I don't know. I was just trying to think of something. Oh, I was like, what? I was like, where's this going? Oh, I got something. Fuck James Storm. All right, <laughs> I guess that's the end of it. Check out uh, Grimworks, all things that, and go ahead and check out Bread Club Gaming on SoundCloud. Yep. For, for right now, but they'll be on iTunes soon. Either way, I'm Roman. My name is Jose, and I am Brian. All right, ladies, dudes, go fucking peak some wrestling, bro. There's peak a lot some of wrestling. Yeah. Twin Peaks wrestling. Twin Peaks wrestling. Twin Peaks files. Man. Nah. <laughs>